Hey everybody, Mr. Troy here. Let's learn. It's time for math with Mr. Troy. All right, this video is about how to evaluate the difference quotient. The difference quotient is a definition from calculus. And while I'm not gonna talk about what it means in this video, I'm hoping that I'll be able to give you enough hints so that we can talk about that a little bit later. So the difference quotient is found by subtracting difference, two different outputs. One, where the function is evaluated at x plus h, and one, where the function is evaluated at x, and then dividing, hence the quotient, by h. Now, since h is in the denominator, h can't be zero. Let's take a look at an example. All right, our first example is using the function 5x plus 3, so a linear function. I'm going to color code this for you, so let's see if that helps. So the three parts of the difference quotient are the function evaluated at x plus h, the function evaluated at x, and h, the denominator. So the function evaluated at x plus h means, in this case, 5 times x plus h plus 3. Or, to distribute that out, 5x plus 5h plus 3. The function evaluated at x is just as it's shown, but we do need to be careful here. I'm subtracting all of 5x plus 3, so I need to watch my signs. As we get closer to the final answer, we're going to subtract 5x and 3. Finally, we're going to divide by h. So again, this, as far as you know, is just a definition, and there's no what does this all mean yet. Of course, we won't ignore it. If you do this correctly, you should notice some terms that cancel out. So in this one, we have a 5x and a negative 5x, and a 3 and a negative 3. This is going to leave us with 5h over h, or 5. Interesting. All right, here's our next example, 2x squared plus 4. So again, we're going to start with the function evaluated for x plus h. We're going to subtract the function evaluated for x. And we're going to use parentheses to remember that we're going to subtract both the 2x and the 4. And we're going to divide by h. So this is going to get a little bit more complicated because we've got x squared plus 2xh plus h squared plus 4. And then we're going to subtract 2x squared and 4. So that's going to become 2x squared plus 4xh plus 2h squared plus 4 minus 2x minus 4. Sorry, 2x squared. So once again, we're going to have some canceling action here. The 2x squareds are going to cancel each other out, and the 4 and the negative 4 are going to cancel each other out. So we're left with 4xh plus 2h squared over h, or a final answer of 4x plus 2h. Okay? Let's do one more. All right, this one's going to take us a little bit more space. So 
What's going to make this more challenging is that there are uh, more terms in it and that we're going to have to be careful watching our negatives. So first, we are going to evaluate for x plus h. So all of this getting evaluated at x plus h. And I'm going to color code this one for you, OK? So this first function value is going to be 3 times x plus h quantity squared minus 5 times x plus h plus 4. Following that is going to be subtraction of all of 3x squared, subtracting negative 5x, and subtracting positive 4. And then we're going to divide by h. Okay, So hopefully you can see all of those different parts before things get more complicated. I'm going to take this a little bit more slowly than I maybe normally would. I'm going to start by foiling out this perfect square uh, to the perfect square trinomial x squared plus 2xh plus h squared. I'll distribute this in a second. Then I'm going to have minus 3x squared plus 5x minus 4. And all of that's going to be over h. Now you might be able to see where some of this is going, but I am going to distribute everything out a step further. OK, I have everything distributed out. And I'm going to, again, look for those cancellations. So the 3x squared and the negative 3x squared will cancel. The negative 5x and the 5x will cancel. And the 4 and the negative 4 will cancel. There should always be some sort of cancellation. So that's going to leave us with 6xh plus 3h squared minus 5h all over h, which is going to be 6x plus 3h minus 5. And as of right now, you don't need to have any idea what that means, um, but that's evaluating the difference quotient. All right, hope that helps.